These days, it's really hard to get kids to trade their video games for an educational experience. But as Rob Wiles discovered, it's easy if you offer adventure. And that's what the Adventure Science Center in Nashville is all about. It's evolved into a destination where young and old alike can travel through outer space or even a digestive system. Look at this one, Mommy. It's a busy day at the Adventure Science Center in Nashville, just like it has been most days for more than 70 years. The center's president, Susan Duvenhag, says it was in 1945 that a group of locals decided Nashville kids needed a fun place to go. When we go through the archives, we see photos of literally trucks, kids in the back coming up to the doors at the old museum, which was then on 2nd Avenue. And today we see them not by the truckload, but by the busload. But the premise is all the same, and that is to be a fun place to learn things and have a good time while you're doing it. Eventually, the museum took a turn into the fascinating world of science. Science has become even more um, in the spotlight these days, and that's a good thing because it certainly impacts our lives every day, science, technology, engineering, and math. And so we really all ought to be um, curious and want to be provoked to learn a little more about our world. Even beyond our world. You've got all the planets so in here? They've got all the planets, the planet survey, and fun things. Yep. Step right here. What do you do on this? And you're going to see how much you weigh on oh. whatever whatever planet you like. Not Mars. Don't, oh, can it, can, will I, would it help me out? What would yeah, I weigh? Let's see. We 700 don't have to pounds? Tell. No. Well, Two, hang on. 1,000 pounds? This is both of us now. 150 pounds. That's pretty good. You know for what? The I'm going to go uh, have some dessert. Mm -hmm. I need to put on a little weight, I think. That sounds good. It does sound good, doesn't it? If you do get dessert, you can find out what happens to it once it's inside you. That's just one of the fascinating things to learn here. You can explore everything from the outer edges of the universe in the planetarium or our Space Chase exhibit gallery to the inner molecular things in our body in Body Quest. You can go inside the heart, you can uh, go through the digestive tract. We have a slide that comes equipped with the proper uh, sound effects as well, and then just some general things on light, things on sound, um, a little bit of everything here at Adventure Science Center. Learn what makes our world so conducive to life. One of the most popular spots in the center is the planetarium. It's been described as the ultimate man cave for our laser shows that we do after hours. But they touch on everything from things um, like stars and the sun and the moon to um, oftentimes historical, uh, biological, uh, a lot of different. We change those shows every three months, so something always new in the planetarium. The center is such fun that it appeals not only to children, but to the children in each of us. While certainly children will be at the core of what we do, uh, we think that we all ought to be curious, that you never outgrow that, you never outgrow um, perhaps wanting to learn new things. So we work really hard at doing programming that not only is attractive to that younger explorer, but also as explorer as we age as well. The uh, experienced explorer like me. The experienced me, huh? explorer, the seasoned explorer, <laughs> yes. The center is seasoned itself, of course, being over 70 and all. It's been around long enough that parents and grandparents remember the first time they came here. To the person, almost everyone has a story. They have a memory, uh, that favorite field trip or that favorite exhibit. And indeed, we have seen generations grow up in the Science Center, and it's a really neat thing. Those memories lead to a whole new generation of kids making their own memories here and maybe getting a glimpse of what's ahead for them. We hope that we are inspiring that next generation of scientists and surgeons or engineers or explorers and innovators. Uh, we hope to inspire them to want to learn more about science in their classrooms and then take that and build a future out of it. 
fulfilling and fun, just like the Adventure Science Center in Nashville.